Hello, good morning. Welcome to another fabulous day in the Lake District. It is absolutely pouring down. The time is nine o'clock. I'm on my way to shopping. To shopping, Aldi. I'm just calling at home base on my way as well because I've had my eye on this rug for a while now like for so long to the point where I'm worried they're gonna stop stocking it because it's been in there for quite a long time and I thought since today's the day I'm getting my new chair I may, may get a new rug as well I don't know I'll go and have a little look and see what I think So here is my new chair and Dexter singing. Um, yeah, it's still got feet to go on it, which I can't get on because I can't. All right, Dexter. All right. Um, because I can't get the little um, things off the bottom. I can't explain it, but it's got little things off the bottom that I need to take off to put the um, feet on. I can't get them off, so I'll try again in a bit. So there it is. There's my little granny corner with my granny chair and my bird cage and all that stuff. Can't decide quite how to have my cushions yet. I'll need to mess about with them a little bit. I think Dexter wants to say hello. All right, Dex. You are making a racket, aren't you? What are you doing? You just wanted to say hello? Oh. He's trying to do this noise. Well, he's not now, just to prove a point, obviously. I told you he shuts up every time I point the camera at him. Don't you? You do? Hello, good morning. Sorry if you can hear. Oh, it's stopped now. I've got the washing machine on, so if the random noise kicks in, then that's what it is. Um, so, sorry I didn't film very much yesterday. I ended up getting an awful migraine and just felt horrendous yesterday. I used to get migraines once a week. Um in a real bad way with them but thank goodness I don't I found a cure and I don't get them that much anymore so but when I do they hit me hard and I'm like how did I used to cope with this every week anyway there's washing machine anyway yesterday we just went to the dentist Matt was back at the dentist and he is being referred to the orthodontist now he's getting braces so that's exciting in a weird way. <laughs> well, he's excited and Matt's excited. He's got to have two teeth removed, you know, because he's got like overcrowding. So he's got to have two teeth removed and then braces and his arch needs widening. So I think it'll be a bit of a long process and probably quite painful at times. I imagine, I don't know, I've never had braces, but I, I wish I had. I'm like, you know, I think he's, he's lucky to get that opportunity to have them which when he was told a couple of years ago that he wouldn't need braces when he was older, he was really dead against it. But now he's, he's excited because he doesn't like his teeth and whenever he like laughs or anything, he always tries to cover his mouth up and stuff. So that'll be really exciting for him. Although I don't know how long it'll be before we actually see the orthodontist. I think there's quite a wait for that. So we'll see. Anyway, today my sister has just texted me and asked if I want to go to, there's a new charity shop opened. Quite a big one, I think. So, oh, it looks it from the outside. I don't know. It might be empty inside. Um, so we're going to go there. But first of all, I'm going to go to her house. And we're going to go to my mum's because um, my mum has been invited, but she can't answer enough phones. So it's most likely her phone's not working. So we shall go and invite her personally. If she doesn't want to come, we'll probably just have a brew there and then go there. And then come home and the plan is whether I actually do it I don't know is to move Dexter upstairs in his little cage while I paint the tiles in the kitchen which I've been saying I'm going to do for quite a while now haven't I and then once that's done then I can move into his big cage that's why I've not really moved into his big cage well 
That's one thing I don't want to unsettle him too much, but also because I knew that I wanted to move him upstairs at some point, so he's not in like in the room where the paint fumes there. So that is the grand plan. I feel like I had something else to say. I didn't get the rug yesterday at home base because for one thing I don't know if it's actually going to clash with the chair because it's also checked um, but then so is the rug I've got now um, but also it's more expensive than I thought so I didn't get it but I'm still thinking about it so I may well end up back there I don't know I might just go for like a plain dark brown rug um, the one that Matthew's got in his room the grey one that's from Argos and it wasn't I can't remember how much it was now but it wasn't very expensive but actually it's a really nice quality um, so I might have a look to see if they've got a brown one in there or something. Anyway, I'm sure you're not that interested. I'm going to go to my sister's. Oh, yeah, here's another one. So I've got my painting clothes on because I painted the tiles in the kitchen. Well, I started to, actually. It's just really streaky, horrible paint. So I've given up and I think I'm going to go back to tile stickers. Um, because I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't leave anything alone ever. I think I, I think like I hate my kitchen anyway. So I think whatever happens, I'm just gonna hate my kitchen. So I don't know. Anyway, um, went to the charity shop today. My mom did come with us. Then I went to my sister's had my dinner there that was her dog and one of her cats that you saw on the video very cute the pair of them came home did the tiles don't like them given up I'm now gonna go for a bath um, let me show you the tiles from a distance there they are from a distance they look fine <laughs> but up close they're really streaky and horrible uh, I put the feet on my chair by the way as well so that looks a bit better now there's where Dexter should be, but he's upstairs in my bedroom. Oh, let me show you what I got from the charity shop as well. I'll just go upstairs. Look at my lilies, they're nice, aren't they? They're beautiful lilies. There's my photo wall. Oh, look at my baby. Um, yeah, this is what I got from the charity shop, if I can show you going to show up sorry I'm making a terrible job of this so there we go I just got this dress here that was four pound fifty so I thought that was quite nice and then I just got this like sheer shirt which I've got two very similar that I wear all the time for work but one of them just got chewed up by the washing machine so I thought oh, that's really good and that one was three pounds so there we go yeah I thought they were nice here's Dexter in my bedroom he's not very happy that I've moved him hey sweet pea oh I'm gonna move you back down again now I'll probably stretch you out again won't I I've had to cover up my mirror so you can't see yourself oh look I don't think I showed you this either Matt got me this for my birthday happy birthday mum oh my goodness am I glad to see you I know you've only just seen me, but I haven't seen you. Excuse the red face, I just got out of a red hot bath. And I'm sure you're absolutely sick to death of seeing me in my towel and my pyjamas. But, let me tell you why I've not seen you for a while. Because on Friday, I only went and dropped you in the bath, didn't I? Yes, I did. It's now Sunday, six o'clock on Sunday. Um, so I stuck my phone in a bag of rice straight away. Left it for 24 hours. And then um, yesterday, took it out, turned it on, it seemed to be okay. Um, did a bit of filming, but when I played it back, the sound was off and it was making a horrible noise. So I've just done a little check now and it's working. Fingers crossed. It's been another 24 hours, probably should have left it longer, but I'm a bit stupid and impatient. So yeah, anyway, you haven't missed much. I just went to work yesterday. Did I do anything Friday night? Don't think I did anything Friday night. Oh, I still had a bad head on Friday. It kind of lasted. I still have a little bit, actually. Anyway, 
Saturday went to work, finished early, finished at like half two I think because it's quiet, bizarrely, it's quite unusual. And then I came home and I did my tile stickers which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I'm pleased with them, I like them. Um, then I went and cut my nephew's hair and my brother-in-law's hair, had tea there. Came home and then today I've just been... I cleared out my kitchen cupboards today actually which is good. That feels like a huge weight off my mind and then I've just done like a couple of, well not a couple I've done a tip run and stuff like that um so yeah that's you caught up and I shall show you the tiles so there's the tile stickers I haven't done all of them I've still got them to do which I'll probably do tomorrow night I think um so yeah that's that oh I got these um pans the other day let me show you these copper pans because Bear with me. Bear with, bear with. Oh, nearly breaking them. They were from boys, twelve ninety nine, because they are. Is it focusing? PTFE and PFOA free. Get me words out. Um, because non stick pan, usual non stick pans and um. Teflon pans, anything that makes them non-stick really, is toxic to birds apparently. Oh, I've done that the wrong way around. A toxic to birds apparently. So there we go. I came across these in boys. Perfect, lovely. There's and there. also I ended up settling on this plain rug, which was from home base. It wasn't the one that I originally wanted. Um but this one was on sale for I think it was $39.99. Um and I thought, well, that'll do. The other one that I really wanted was £70, and I just thought that's quite a lot for a, a rug, isn't it? So I just went for that plain one. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for the week now. Um, I am going to attempt to put Dexter in his big cage once again. I keep trying, but he's it's just so nervous of me still. I've had him, I think it's three weeks today, I think it is, but we're not making much progress, unfortunately, in the way of getting him to trust us. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to make tea and then that's it really. Matthew's out on his bike at the moment so um, I shall give him a ring and tell him that I'm making tea. Oh god, I'm yawning. Oh. Anyway, it's nice to have you back. Hopefully this sounds okay. I guess I'll find out when I edit it and watch it back but fingers crossed. Anyway, thank you for watching as always and I shall see you next week. See you later, bye!